uh, ladies and gentlemen, we now have a very special band. <laughs> okay, okay, Dave. Band performance uh, of Dave Friesen and his group here, and they're going to be doing some music that actually was transcribed by the help of Dave with Jerry. Sat together and wrote some of this music down. So I'm really excited. Give them a large round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. It is to be here uh, sharing the music with all of you to, uh, to, tonight in uh, honor of uh, Jerry. Uh, for those of you who know the history, you know that Jerry and I had an ongoing relationship playing music for many years at the, uh, at the Longland and then uh, afterwards. Actually, I remember to keep the club going, we each taught ourselves how to play piano and then compose music for the piano. So while Jerry played piano, I played bass, and then uh, I would play piano and Jerry would play bass until enough musicians could come in uh, to keep the music happening. So this uh, happened on a regular basis on, on weekends. Um, I remember Jerry was over at the house one day, and, it, and this was several years ago. I said, Jerry, we got to put some of your music down on paper because at that time we just, it was all in our minds. And Jerry didn't write music down, but he was a great composer. And that's why I want to share with you this evening uh, music that Jerry composed. Uh, I'd like to introduce to you, uh, both these gentlemen are from Portland and we have an ongoing relationship uh, playing music uh, together. They weren't quite born yet when Jerry and I were we're busy playing. A wonderful pianist Dan Gaynor on the piano. A gentleman that has been touring with me here in the States and abroad and is on a few of my recent uh, CDs, Charlie Duncan on the drums. Before we play, I just have to talk a little bit about this instrument. It's kind of a shakuhachi. And uh, this is an instrument Jerry made for me. Um, maybe in around 1965, he made it. And he had an interesting technique for making shakuhachis. Just to preface this, there was a, a great drummer from San Francisco whose name is Oliver Johnson. And Oliver just passed here last year in Paris. Uh, he was playing with Steve Lacey for a while and a lot of other great musicians in Paris, France, in France. And he came up from San Francisco and Jerry put him up for a week or so. Maybe it was longer. And he taught Jerry how to make the shakuhachi flute. So Jerry made this instrument for me. And I think one of the reasons why it's lasted so long is because Jerry told me he says, David, to make this thing last, we preserve the wood, the bamboo, with menins after shave lotion. Oh. So, <laughs> does that sound like Jerry? Right? <laughs> so, um, I did that. I, I bought several bottles of menins after shave lotion and, and bathed this puppy in, in a little tub full of menins after shave lotion. Uh, for, a long, for a long time, and uh, I think the masking tape and duct tape that's on here, well this tape is holding the flute together down here at this end, where the menins didn't reach, I think. Uh, that tape, this masking tape's been on there for at least 30 years. And this duct tape, I put on there maybe 15, 20 years ago, because in my solo concerts, I'll use this flute, and I play the bass with the flute. So I'll strike this on the strings, and then I play it too. So I just want to, I just want to, this is a little tune I, I created for, for Jerry on the Shakuhachi before we play the trio music for it. I haven't played this flute in a long time. <laughs>
make a way and I'll introduce the uh, songs as um, we play them. The first tune is one of my favorites and uh, a lot of you from that, uh, from the time frame in, in the early 60s may remember this. This is a piece called Posifé. Thank you. 
wonderful way. But you can look it up for yourself if you like. You would read the 22nd chapter of Revelation. And then we would play this tune called the Joy in the Lord.
that uh, Jerry named after his club. And actually the word Mongolia he gave him he said meant fortress by the sea. And that's what his his coffee house was. It was a fortress by the sea for so many uh, jazz musicians that came into Portland, came out of Portland. It was a haven for it. the avant-garde for straight ahead jazz. And so this is a piece called Long <laughs> <laughs> Jerry loves three and four.
Again, Jerry and I had a place where we could uh, perform our music uh, for a live audience and uh, have more of a chance to play together. And it's at that time we met uh, Alan Pemetel and Sam Lapuma and formed a group called Morning Star. And so uh, the recording will have uh, all the music from that particular group. It should be out in January, February of next year. Uh, there's a person in Donetsk in the Ukraine, who read on Caroline's blog about Jerry, as she so eloquently wrote on her blog, and she became, um, her name is Natasha, and uh, she's an artist, and she was overwhelmed with what had taken place in Jerry's life. She made all these incredible drawings, some of which are on the poster board back there, and will be a part of the uh, CD package. The name of the CD will be Jerry Heldman Revelation, and then in parentheses, S, the letter S. So Revelations, S in parentheses, Jerry Heldman Revelation. So if any of you are interested uh, in receiving this CD or knowing when it comes out, uh, if we can get a paper back there, maybe uh, Caroline or one of the family can get a paper with a pencil, uh, just write your name down and email address, and we'll let you know when uh, it comes out. So, so 
we're going to finish up uh, our part of this. We, we drove down from Portland. We all have things in the early morning we have to attend to, so we have to pack up and head out. But it's, it's been an honor to be here tonight and play for my uh, very good friend and, and, and musical friend, uh, Jerry Hellman. And once again, for Dan Gaynor and Charlie Doggett. Who, some years. It's been fun times. Um, this last tune we'd like to play for you is the song you wrote for Julia, but this was the first one. This is Julia number one. Thank you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you. 